So, um, not to take up your time, uh, other than I. So I wasn't sure that was what we're going to happen. That letter. That was our question. And then she would reach out to somebody in the office because she wanted to be able to give it to them. I shall give it to them uh, in December because then I see, now I see you together with many people. But then you will just uh, you put aside for some security. So in December, I'm meeting, we have the confidence. Uh, yeah. And then I go to it's it's just it's our concern because this, no, it's this, a bit yeah, I mean I understand that it'll be delivered, but that this is something that still is happening. And, uh, you know, it's so urgent because as we know that there's a lot of guys that aren't following what they should be doing and as they're involved. Um there's still kids being a few months. But yeah. he will not be able to do much now. The United States, uh, yeah. Because yeah. what he can do is slowly by slowly replace the bishops by better people. Yeah, but I mean, do you think because I I, I don't want to get too deep in the weeds, but, you know, this law that we helped put together, this zero tolerance, uh, yeah. no. you know, it's, it's something... I am for zero tolerance. Yes, but... And in my diocese, I, it's zero tolerance. I have to ask, Cardinal, because yes. it's, you know... I, am, I I completely agree with yes, that. Yes, our, our fear is that without it written as a law that yeah. has consequences, you know, these things could still happen if there's yeah. no consequence for people who are covering up. And, you know, I we've, we've had friends who've taken their lives. Um, we've known so many people who've suffered yeah. so greatly, and um, they've waited for so long for something like this to happen. And, you know, we had hoped that before this, Synod that will determine, you know, the future of the Catholic Church. That there would be, you know, something the concrete. The synod will be next year. Yes, yes, so it's just but the first step. yeah. The problem is that um, there are abusers this year. Yeah. That's the problem. No, I know, and the Pope knows. But uh, you see, it's not the Church. It's not the structure where the Pope can bow to the bishop. Why not? Yeah. On this, why not? This is your Already, it's, because because he can't. Why why can't he do that? No, it can involve us and allow it. You know. About criminal behavior, we can't do anything yeah. like that. But uh, uh, I don't believe you. I, yeah. I, I, I'm being kind to you, but I I think that's not believable. No. And he can put into law. We've had canon lawyers work on this. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the written law is important. Yeah. So let's make the law right, yeah. because right now I don't know how else to say this, but you can be a priest in some parts of the world. You can rape and sexually assault a child and remain a priest. That's a fact. Because the law, as it is written, permits it. It leaves it up to the bishop. It permits it. So it's absolutely in our opinion. We've been at this many years. We represent thousands of survivors around the world. So the bishops have a duty to report every single case to the Congregation of Faith. Yeah. And what happens? What has often happened? What is often it? Okay, the first duty they have, like in the United States, in Luxembourg, is to report it to you. Oh, yes, yeah, of course, of course. Um, the then it goes, I understand it goes to the Congregation of Faith, but... No, we only give it to the Congregation of Faith when civil justice has spoken. Yeah. When there is the ecclesial... Yeah. Right, but here's the thing, as you know, as you know, statutes yeah. vary on this across countries. I am, I'm very sure, but I have to do this. Yeah, I mean, because I guess. Because I have to, to get back. And I know you're so busy, but I do just want to ask, please, you know, that yeah. I, we feel we can't wait to December for this yeah. to happen because the next cases of abuse are happening yeah. now and there are people who are suffering, you know, who need an advocate at the Vatican. Yeah. So I'm asking, um, I hate to be so direct, but to ask you, can you get this to him before the Synod? Because it's possible because I have it in Luxembourg. We well, can send you another copy. Yeah. We we have a uh, you know contact. So give it to me. Uh, well, uh, I am at the Jesuit Curia, Borgo Santo Spirito. The Jesuit Curia. Yeah, that's why. And I live. Um, you know, if if we give it to you, could you please? Would you give, I give it, it to? I but the, it will oh. be less effective. No, yeah, you're so saying. Well, we come back in December. Yeah. But it's but, just as a matter of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I hate to interrupt. But how mm -hmm. about, you know, 
involving survivors mm. around the world, but our representatives, in a discussion about this I issue. I would agree. But you see, I am far away from the Pope. The Pope is surrounded by people to Syria, and uh, they are there every day to tell him what to do. Yeah. You know what? So I don't think the Pope my, does what he's told. You know, he's like, uh, you better do this. Uh, yes. He's following. We he's just, like, I really have to uh, go. So, like, just, so we can get this to you. Right give it yeah, we'll to give me, it to you. And I promise to uh, we, it we, we just ask because, you know, it's, but I say to it's a, the, the abuse. It's just, it'll yeah. keep going if we don't do something yeah. about it now. And we have yeah. to stop it. And yeah. you're in such a position with the Senate no. that you could do something about it. I am a very small person, a very big church. Okay, but but you're the Relator General. Well, yeah. he chose you to do it. Yeah. So we hope that in that but I role, will be shot by uh, shot. No, 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 uh, by all the conservative Christians. Oh, but they, you know, no, I feel like you know, victims are conservative. Please, and please don't blame. Please don't blame this idea. Don't no, we love you. We love you. Don't do. Okay. Thank you.